Okay. I guess I should do a review of this game. Uh, right now. I'd rather do it right now than during the credits, just because it'll be a little bit more visually interesting. So, like I said, I love this game. I think it's great. Um, there's three distinct play styles, and that's both a good thing and a bad thing. On one hand, it gives you a lot of variety, because all three are at least, you know, pretty fun to play as, to a certain extent. But some are more fun than others. Uh, I do like romping around as the Kabuto, and the mechs are always really fun. The Reapers, they're okay, but unfortunately the Reaper missions, they're less fun because there's three base building missions. And I think four jet ski missions. And they're not fun. So you have like at least seven missions, at least, that are devoted to missions that just aren't that fun. I mean, the jet ski missions aren't terrible, but they're not what you want to do. Like, if I wanted to play a jet ski game or a water, water boarding game, whatever, water surfing game, I'd play Wave Race 64 or something like that. Like I said, uh, the, the worst thing about the game is uh, the base building missions. They are, they're awful. Um, this latest patch seems to address that slightly, but it's still problematic. Because, uh, I mean, the patch addresses it because you can, um, even if you die, your buildings are intact, which is good. You don't want your buildings to, to disappear, and I believe that they did in the original version. So that makes it a little easier, but it's still, you know, it's still pretty painful because if you die, you effectively have to start all over again. But of course, you know, since your buildings are intact, if you have the party house up, then you're you're doing okay. Um The storyline does peter off. As the game goes on, as you can tell right here, there isn't much story anymore. When the game starts out, it starts out so strong. There's so much humor. The mech missions are by far the funniest. And it has the best story. But once you get to the Reaper missions, you can kind of tell that, you know, it, it becomes a lot less funny. And the story isn't quite, quite as good. And then when you get to the Kabuto, there's no story at all. There's, like, no talking, no cutscenes, nothing. So, you, you can kind of tell they were a little rushed at the end. But gameplay-wise, I do like playing as the Kabuto. You do feel like Godzilla. Which is awesome. But uh, building him up is a pain in, the and pain in the butt. He doesn't... Kabuto, luckily, does not have any... base building missions. But instead, you have to build him up. Luckily... Once you get past the initial missions to build him up, then he's in full size right from the start, which is good. Now, what I love about the game are the colors. Like, this game came out in 2000. The graphics are just so good. For a game that came out in 2000, they actually had to build this engine from scratch. There just wasn't a game engine out there that could handle this. At least to this scale. There were some other good game engines out at the time. Quake 3, Unreal Tournament. Yeah, they did exist. But they couldn't... They didn't have this, this scope, this level, this size. So even to this day, 2017, 
17 years after this game came out, this game still looks amazing. So good. And like I said, the mech missions are by far the best. They're the, they're the most fun. The story during them is the best. So I think the game could have been improved upon if it were just two races instead of three. And that leads to the multiplayer. The multiplayer was so much fun. It was so unique and different because it had asymmetrical gameplay, but that was also its disadvantage because it was hard to balance it and there were balance issues. The Reapers were largely considered to be overpowered. The Kabuto was a little underpowered because it was hard to build him up. Once he's at full size, then he does all right, but... You know, getting there can be painful sometimes. To a point of where, like, a guy asked me, asked all of us to not attack him because... It wasn't fair to him. He couldn't... He didn't have a chance because everyone was ganking him. It's so sad because this game did not sell well. And it deserved it. It was made by Planet Moon Studios, former members of uh, Shiny Entertainment who made Earthworm Jim and MDK. And their sense of humor and quirkiness sh really show in this game. It really does. I highly recommend anyone give it a chance. You know, give it a try. You can. Good old games made a port of this game, so. You know, highly recommend people check it out and see for themselves. And that's my little mini review. But 